Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about Python virtual environment with Miniconda. Python application will often use packages and modules that don't come as a part of a standard library. Application will sometimes need a specific version of a library because the application may require a particular bug which has been fixed or application may be written in an obsolete version of a library. This means it may not be possible for one Python installation to meet the requirement for every application. Let's visualize the scenario here. For example, you have a client who wants you to build a web application using Django version 1. You have one version of Python or one installation in your Mac or Windows. Now, you meet another client who wants to build another web application, but he wants to use Django version 2. Now, when you have one installation of Python and you want to override Django version 1 to 2, then it will break your application which was built on Django version 1. So in this case, we need a virtual or you can say isolated Python environment. Here we have a Python version 2, Django version 2. We can create a web application in an isolated environment and that code only exists in that environment. So if you have a Django version 3 or Python version 3 and you build another web application using that virtual environment or isolated environment, you will not have to worry about other web applications which might be built on same Python, Django, but different versions. You can use a specific version for one particular application we use Python isolated environment. We're going to be using a mini conda to create a virtual environment. So let's go and do that. Let's install mini conda 3 on Windows operating system. I'm going to open Chrome browser. The website you want to go to is conda.io. Let's click on a mini conda and here we have an installer that we can download. We have a Windows version, a Mac version and a Linux version. Now, first of all, you want to make sure that you know what Windows version that you have installed on your on your computer. For that, I'm going to go to the File Explorer, go to this PC, right click, click on Properties and tell you the system type. In this case, I'm using 64 bit operating system. So I'm going to close this window, close this window and I would like to download 64 bit installer. Let's click on that and it's going to download. It's about 72.6 megabytes and I will click on that installer it will bring up the installer from Miniconda 3.4.7 actually it's 4.7.10 64-bit let's click on next agree it says install for just me or all users I would like to just keep that for me let's click on next and then here's a destination folder that you want to change it's up to you I will leave that as default let's click on next install and it's installing a mini conda. Once this is done, we're going to go and open the commander and then we verify that there. Let's open up the folder. I'm going to right click and say run as administrator. But first, we wait for a mini conda to install completely. All right, so mini conda has been installed. I'm going to click on next. And it says learn more about Anaconda or learn about how to get started with Anaconda. I'm going to uncheck both of these checkboxes. Click on finish. Now we can use commander or command prompt or PowerShell. Does not really matter. As long as you add Miniconda to your environment variables, you can access it from any command prompt. So we want to make sure that Anaconda or Conda is installed. So I'll go to this search and I'll type Mini Conda. And here you can see there's an app called Anaconda Prompt Mini Conda 3 app. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open the command prompt with this base environment activated. So if I type Python dash dash version, you can see we have a Python 3.7.3. .3. But if I open a PowerShell or just a command prompt in general, and I type here Python dash dash version, it gives me Python 3.7.4. So there's a difference between Python version because this environment is called base and we don't have any environment activated in the command prompt, but we can if we want to.
As long as the Conda documentation is concerned, it's similar on Mac, Linux, and Windows. So rest of the things we're gonna learn about Conda is gonna be in Mac. It's the same thing. All you gotta do is just open this Anaconda app from Windows and then follow along. Here I'm gonna type Conda space dash dash version. It tells me what Conda version I've installed. How do we create a virtual environment? Well, to create a virtual environment, we use the command conda create dash dash name and then the name of your virtual environment. I want to show you the documentation for conda. So conda.io, go to this website and you will have some documentation here which you can use to create your virtual environment. I'll click on conda. And that takes you to the user guide. Here we can see getting started guide, managing environment. Here we have a Conda create name and then Snowflakes is like a virtual environment name. And then this is the package that we are installing at initial stage. So I would like to use this command Conda info ENBS. So I'll type this command here first. Let's see how many virtual environments that I've already have. So let's go back and verify. Yep. Conda info dash dash ENBS enter and it's giving me I have learning projector Python 3 safety beat and all of these virtual environments are installed and they're isolated environment any package I install in learning would not be in projector so let's create a new virtual environment I'm gonna take you back to the documentation and here we can see we have a command and I'm gonna use that command conda create dash dash name enter and now it's going to ask me if I want to install all of these libraries. Y, enter, or return on a Mac. And it's going to download all the packages for me. Now it's telling me Conda activate Python course. I can use this command to activate that. So I'll use Conda info dash dash envs. Here we have this Python course virtual environment created. Let's clear the terminal and I'm going to type Conda activate Python course and now you can see here we're using python course as a virtual environment now if i see here what version of pip i have installed pip is like a package manager for installing different kinds of packages we'll talk about this when we get to the next stage of this course so i'll say pip space dash dash version here we have a pip install 19.1.1 I'm going to install Django, which is a Python web framework. So I'll type pip install Django. Now, one thing you notice that it tells you what version of Django it's downloading for us. I can specify the version using assignment operator. So we'll do that later. Let's clear the terminal. And now I'm going to use Django dash admin space dash dash version. Oops, it's version. Okay, so I have version 2.2 installed. Now, in this case, I have a Django version installed. What if I change the virtual environment to something else? Would I have the same Django version there as well, or it would be installed? Let's try that. So I'll use conda deactivate command to deactivate. So now we're not part of Python course. So I'll use Django admin dash version and here it tells me, hey, I've installed version 2.1.1. As you can see here, we install latest version. And here it might have a different version. Okay, so I would like to use another virtual environment. I'll use conda create dash dash name. And I'll say pi course. And then I'll use the Python version. Let's just say maybe three point. Five. Okay, I would like to show you what version of Python that I can use within this virtual environment. Basically, the different version. So here it's saying that I'm installing pip version 10.0.1, Python version 3.5.6. Now we'll just use Python 3 dash dash version command. And here we see we have Python 7.4.1 installed at our, you know, without our Conda environment. So if I use conda activate pi course, now we are in pi course virtual environment. 
And here, if I check Python space dash dash version, I should get Python version 3.5.6. And if I use pip space dash dash version, we should have a pip 10.0.1 installed because that pip is only compatible with Python 3.5. So if you want to use Python 3.7, you might have to install a latest version. So as you can see that with Conda, you can actually create a virtual environment or isolated environment and install specific versions for your application. And you don't have to worry about breaking any other application, probably using the same version or different version. So yeah, it, this is great. We're going to be using some virtual environment in the course. But for the first section, for the basic programming, you don't need to worry about any kind of virtual or isolated environment. We might need it later in the course when we get to the advanced uh, side of the course. But for now, doesn't matter if you don't have a corner install, it's up to you if you want to work in an isolated environment or not. Last thing I would highly recommend, go and visit conda.io if you want to work in an isolated environment. And look for these basic commands like manage environment, managing Python versions, or managing packages, how you install packages using Conda. Okay, so this is a great resource. 